have here an empty box fan cabinet, a Westinghouse evaporative cooler motor, and a fan blade. So I think you know what's about to happen with these. I'm going to make a, a box fan, a high-powered box fan, using the evaporative cooler motor. Let's take a closer look at it here. I bought this for $1.50 in the state sale yesterday. It is a Westinghouse, made in Mexico, one half or one six horsepower, either 1140 or 1725 RPMs. And there's the Westinghouse logo. I have another one at my parents' house. It's a Westinghouse motor, but it has the older style Westinghouse logo in the end. It's just a straight W with a line under it. But this is like the one that looks like electrons or something. The most recent Westinghouse logo. And I don't think Westinghouse really even exists. It may exist in some form anymore, but I don't think they make motors anymore. Now here's the terminal board. We've got terminals for low, common, if you can see down there, common, calm, and high. Now, of course, these alligator clips are not really up to the current draw demands of this motor for continuous duty, but this is just my little test rig here for testing it. Probably need to devise some kind of a, uh, a cover for that terminal plate. So, let's see, we're ready for the test. It's got the centrifugal starting switch in there. You can see the springs are back in there. So, okay, now we're ready for the test. Here we go. Well, it just purrs like a kitten. And that speed that it's running at ought to be good for direct drive of a fan blade. It's not going to be too fast. I'm not sure if I can get the fan blade on there. And there the centrifugal starting switch uh, disengaged. I'm not sure if I can really do a mock-up of this with the fan blade on it. I'd like to put it in a vise or something. But I'll have to see. Another question is, how am I going to mount the motor into the box fan case? Because this is what I'd like to do with this. I'd like to put a bigger, beefier motor like this in it, but the way this would have originally mounted was through some uh, straps that would have gone around these end bells, or some metal straps that would have coupled it to a mounting skid, but they didn't provide those when I bought it. So I just have to use some ingenuity figure out how to mount the motor on there, but at least it works. That's the most important thing, and I've been looking and looking and looking for a motor like this. I went to Lowe's, and of course a new one is like 65 or 70 dollars, so I really lucked out on that. So sometime eventually, I have a heavy-duty, high-powered box fan in operation. Here's the fan blade mock-up on the Westinghouse motor. I'm not actually going to turn this on because I think it might just fall over and fly apart. But at least this shows that the fan blades are going to fit on the motor okay. may need to uh, just polish up the shaft to get the fan blades down all the way, but it is the correct shaft diameter. So soon we'll have this fan actually in operation.